Hey guys, are you feeling hungry on keto all the time? Guess what? It might actually not be your fault and I'm here to tell you why. Tune in to learn more. Hey everybody, I am Kelly Alexa, fitness fanatic, serial entrepreneur, confidence coach, and most recently, kind of most recently, keto convert about uh, it's not a little over a year ago. It's a lot over a year ago. Uh, June of last year in 2021, I went keto and I lost 36 inches and 30 pounds going keto. So obviously it's something that I found to be quite favorable for me. So I have a lot to say on this subject and I'm gonna share with you my secrets for what works on keto, what doesn't work on keto. And for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna share with you um, what I I believe is keeping you from finding success on keto, why you're, why you're experiencing hunger on the keto diet, what can help you get past that and find success on keto. So let's dive in, shall we? All right, everybody, you know the drill. Make sure that you are subscribed to The Kelly O Show by hitting the subscribe button, but also by making sure that you hit that little bell button so that you are notified whenever we put a new video out. Everybody, welcome. So let's dive in to the meat of the matter. Um, for those of you who have never tuned into my channel, at the end of this video, I will link up. I do have a playlist of a ton of videos on my keto experience, but I'll just give you a brief introduction um, to how I got here. So for the past 10 years or so, I have been, um, I've always been a fitness fanatic. I founded a fitness company back in 2011. Um, I've always been active in the fitness space. I've always been working out, um, eating right, aspiring to reach my best body potential, and yet, Certainly after my hormones started changing right around 2007, right all this time, I have not been able to, I just got to this point where I was, with each passing year, I was working out um, harder and harder and harder, and I was unable to lose weight. And it was like, I wasn't necessarily gaining weight, I was maybe working out harder and harder and harder, certainly unable to lose any weight, maybe gaining just a little bit of weight. That was my life. And it was, it was <laughs> frustrating, doesn't even begin to cover it. Um, it was, I, it was painful. The, the last I, however many years were, was beyond painful. It was expensive. I went to see doctors. I spent so much money on supplements, trainers, dietitians, nutritionists, um, meal delivery services, I mean, everything you can possibly imagine to try and figure out what was going to make my body work. And really, I made things worse because I overtrained, overexercised, overdieted, and I treated my body like a workhorse. I just was thinking I could just whip myself, figuratively speaking, into submission my body and it didn't work and it wasn't until i finally switched to this new doctor that i'm with this new functional medicine doctor dr ruthie harper she's based in austin texas she is wonderful remember very specifically you know all the doctors i'd worked with before um, all the functional medicine doctors i worked with before had always focused on my thyroid my first she said what we need to focus on with you is your inflammation and your insulin resistance. If we can get that down, you will lose weight. I think it was May that she gave me my macros and it was keto. I did not want to do keto. Um, I was very hesitant. I was skeptical and uh, I didn't want to do it. Um, she took a long time to convince me. I had to watch a lot of videos to be convinced, um, but I'm so glad I did because obviously once I started, it worked. I lost um, about, I think, a pound to a pound and a quarter a week until I lost 36 inches and 30 pounds. And I kept it off. Um, and, you know, here we are. So in my opinion, the reason that you might be hungry um, is, is absolutely far less to do with your willpower and far more likely to do with mistakes that you're probably making and the mistakes that I commonly see people make when they're doing keto the wrong way. And I see this time and time again, 
when people do keto the wrong way, um, this is why they fail at keto. This is why they give up too soon. This is why they say keto doesn't work. This is why they don't experience weight loss with keto. This is why they give up. Um, and this is why I constantly see people who I coach or who buy my keto cookbook or take my keto boot camp experience success because if you do keto, what, what I call the right way, which is, you know, my way is just one of the ways, you know, there's myriad ways to do keto. I just happen to have figured out a really good way to do keto. You know, I, I haven't patented it. It's not like I'm the only way to do keto, but certainly my way works. I mean, I have one gal I'm thinking of, Ricane uh, Hernandez. She's my most recent client. She lost, I hope I'm saying this correctly. She lost, uh, she lost 24 pounds, was it in her first two months? First two months, 24 pounds. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I, I have a screenshot of that. Um, but I, I can't tell you how many women I've coached who's, they've all lost more than 25 pounds. Not all at the same time, of course, but like everyone who follows my advice loses weight. It's just, uh, it's just pretty simple. So here's what I'm gonna say. These are some brief points. And it's, it, I know it's gonna resonate with a lot of you and you're gonna go, that's me. And so what I'm gonna tell you is there are one, two, three, four, five mistakes. And then there's gonna be three things that you should be doing. Three things that, three basics, you know, and these aren't, aren't the, this doesn't cover everything, but three basics that you should be doing. And then I'm gonna wrap up and say, you know, here's some things to think about for the future of, you know, how you can get started moving in the right direction. So first five keto mistakes. You are eating all fast foods. This is so common that I see with people all the time. They go on keto. It's kind of like Atkins back in the day where people are like, you know, I'm just going to go and I'm going to get the double cheeseburgers at McDonald's or, you know, what a burger. And there's nothing wrong. There's absolutely nothing wrong with incorporating. I have what a burger at least once a week, but I have a what a burger meal once a week. If all you're doing, if you're relying on getting your keto meals, for <laughs> breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you've got a serious problem. You're having a shit ton of sodium and you're having preservatives and all, you know all kinds of stuff. You know, one, maybe two fast food meals a week should be okay, but you know, to have that every single day, and a lot of people do that, believe it or not, you got some serious, serious, serious problems. Don't do keto thinking that you can live off fast food. That is a, if, if you're doing that, then you need to see a psychologist as well because like, what's wrong with you in thinking that that's the right way? When you're trying to lose weight, if you're not thinking about a big picture lifestyle change and eating better for your body, then something is not right and you're inevitably going to fail. Understand that, okay? Period. It's like saying I'm gonna subsist off nothing but big gulps and Slurpees at the 7-Eleven. Number two, eating the predominantly fake foods. What I mean by fake foods is like packaged keto meals, slim fast bars. When I went keto, I hardly bought anything that was fake food. I did 95% real food. Stop eating fake foods. Stop buying all keto like slim fast meals and packaged meals. No. Further, eating all of the same typical foods. And what I mean by this, so many people go keto and, and they only eat hot dogs and hamburgers. They think it's only supposed to be red meat. Who told you that? I see this all the time. People think they forget that you can eat chicken and tuna fish and fish and seafood and, you know, like all the food groups like turkey. It's not just red meat, people, okay? <sighs> Snacks, not meals. Now, this was what I did in the beginning. Um, I lived off of Trader Joe's keto friendly dips. Um, if you're eating snacks, not meals, you will never get full and you will be hungry all the time. You need to eat meals and fill yourself up. It makes sense. 
Um, I don't even really still understand what this means, but whoever invented this idea of, oh, I'm just gonna do dirty keto or lazy keto, I don't know what the F that means, but it sounds stupid. It sounds like you're dirty, you're lazy. Why would you wanna do that? If you wanna lose weight, if you wanna go on a diet, do it, just do it or not do it. Don't be dirty, don't be lazy, don't be a dumbass, just do it. Do you want, if you want to go out with a woman, do you, do you want to say, well, I'm going to ask her out, but I'm going to be lazy about it. Just, just do it. That's just so stupid. I'm going to go on a diet, but I'm going to do it dirty. What the F does that mean? I don't even understand that. Are you really that lazy that you can't go on a diet? Is it really that hard? Is someone setting you on fire? Are you that pathetic that you can't like, stop eating something for a few weeks? If someone told you you had five days to live unless you went on a diet, I bet you would go on a diet. It's really not that difficult. It's just, it's really not that difficult. I tell you, like, me being on this keto life has been a wonderful, wonderful thing. I have not had, there just haven't been these thoughts the whole time that I've been keto, which is June 1st. It is October 24th as I'm recording this. June 1st, let's just say June 1st to September 1st. So June, like a year and June, July, August, a year, let's say a year and a quarter. Um, achoo! Achoo! Might have one more. No, I don't. I never in all that time said to my husband, oh my God, when can I go off this diet? When can I eat normal again? No, never. I was fine. Um, and then, you know, when I finally added carbs, you know what I added? I had some apples with peanut butter. Um, I had acai bowl. Um, so I added um, acai bowls back in. I added apples with nut butter and um, probably a little bit more rice. And um, I had some keto bread which is actually had wheat in it. So that had gluten in it, if you will. Um, and immediately for sure saw weight gain on the scale, which was to be expected. Um, but it was the stomach aches, the, the, the bloating, horrible. So not fun. I'm just telling you, like when people act like they can't cut out foods, there is so much food out there that you can eat that is absolutely delicious. Shame on you, any of you, to think that you can't go on a diet that allows you to enjoy so much delicious food. You owe it to yourself to explore how much absolutely outrageously delicious food is out there that you can be eating. And adult beverages, I might add. So, in closing, what do I tell you will help you not be hungry so that you can be successful on keto. Now, this is a heavy, heavy plug, but it is absolutely true. And I encourage you to watch, I will link down to one very specific video on this. One of the absolute game-changing things that I started consuming, it is a product, and full disclosure, I am a distributor for this product, so some of you might go, oh my God, I don't care. <laughs> It's just the truth. Um, exogenous ketones, which is something I was introduced to in 2016 by my last functional medicine doctor. I tried it back then, wasn't that impressed. And then I was reintroduced to it and tried it when I went keto this year because I saw everybody who was keto using it. Um, I take them two times a day. My husband takes them two times a day. My husband is not keto. Um, he lost four pounds in a month just by taking ketones because of how it quashed his appetite and how it helps him um, not eat all of the candy and the snacks around the office at the law firm. Um, what exogenous ketones do for me is they give me crazy energy. I was crashing um, every afternoon at about two and needing to take a nap. Ever since I take the exogenous ketones two times a day, I don't need a nap. When I don't take exogenous ketones two times a day, I will typically crash sometime in the afternoon. Um, 
that's just the God's honest truth. It quashes my appetite and curbs my cravings. I don't snack anymore. That's what ketones do for me. I don't, my, my husband will even tell me or tell you, I used to be a snackaholic. I used to snack all the time. I used to think about food all the time. When I take ketones religiously every, two times a day, all the time, I just, I never think about food. I don't, I even rarely have dessert other than when he and I go out on date night. It's unbelievable. So again, I am a distributor. You can order from me down below. I will put the link if you have any questions or you just want to, you know, text me and ask me questions. Um, my email is down below and you can contact me. They are life changing. That's all I have to say. I, I can't, I, I am an unapologetic crazy evangelist for this product because every single person who tries them says the same thing. Once you try them, you will say, it is unbelievable how this changes my appetite, my energy, and my cravings. That's all there is to it. Number two, so add ketones. That will change your, your hunger and your energy and your cravings. Number two, stick with real food. That will change everything for you. Meals, not snacks. And then ideally, if you can do intermittent fasting with keto, um, and or throw in an occasional 24 hour fast, that too makes a huge difference. It's so good for you. Lastly, in closing, um, I just wanna say heavy plug, but this is for your benefit. Um, I made a keto cookbook. It's just 27 bucks, you guys. But as of this weekend, we're adding 11 new recipes. So there will now be 66 recipes. Um, they're basically all the recipes that I make on a regular basis. Um, they're fast, they're easy, nothing complicated. These are all the recipes that I made for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but these are easy to make, no complicated ingredients. You can make all of these recipes in probably, I'd say 20 minutes or less, pretty much all of them. Like I said, my husband is not keto. He loves all of these recipes. They're all delicious. All of these are recipes we make all the time. They are all staples. They are all delicious. Link is down below, $27, fully digital. And what we did is we made it digital so that you can access it online on a tablet. You can print it if you want. Nobody wants to print it. But then anytime we add recipes, you get access to those without paying for it obviously. And then as well, I have for just 97, it's either 97 or $99. I'm embarrassed that I don't know that. Um, a keto boot camp uh, for women where I teach you in video format um, how to do keto the right way so that you can do keto uh, just like I did. And I, you know, kind of like learn all the lessons that I, it took me probably a couple months to figure out. And uh, it's a self-taught course. In other words, self-paced course, excuse me, all done via video. There's a Facebook group where you can ask questions um, and that is available to you uh, by lifetime access. So that is down below 99 bucks for the keto boot camp. And as well, just a reminder, if you have questions on the ketones, just email me at kelly at kellyalexa.com. So for any of you that have questions on keto, on being hungry on keto, on the cookbook, on the boot camp, on ordering ketones, comment below. I'm happy to answer any questions. Thanks you guys for tuning in. Hopefully this was helpful and best of luck on your keto journey. I'm here to help. Thanks everybody for tuning in. I hope this video was helpful for you on your keto journey. Like I said, I do have a ton of videos that I've recorded over the past year on my keto journey. I'm linking them up for you here. Let me know if you have any questions.